What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Ashley. Josh. That's <laughs> Josh. And this is Ohio Off-Road. So today we are in Canyonlands. Um, <laughs> that's my new hat that doesn't fit me very well. It's more Josh's style than mine, but I got it anyway. Yeah, it'll be my hat soon. Yeah, he's, he'll steal it in no time, I'm sure. Um, but we are going to run the Schaefer switchbacks down into Moab. So, um, our original goal for today was to run Elephant Hill, and I went in the wrong entrance of Canyonlands. So, but we wanted to run Elephant Hill and do the Schaefer switchbacks today. So we're going to do the Schaefer switchbacks, and then we'll see where that puts us as far as time-wise. We might see if we can go get into Arches and visit Arches a little bit, and then do Elephant Hill tomorrow. But Elephant Hill is on the agenda for this trip, so... We'll be getting that done here soon. Josh is airing down, even though so far it's like a gravel road, but it's freshly graded and we are just getting bounced around like crazy. So we're airing down to get ready to go do this, to drive back into Moab and yeah, go from there. It's gonna be a great day. So Josh, what PSI are you going down to? 14 again. 14? Yep. It's it's a lot rougher riding in this thing than it is the blue cheap. Um, I was debating on going more, but I think this is like a super smooth paved road. Paved road. Hopefully. Well, a rocky road, a gravel road. So, I don't think you really have to go down more. I don't know. We'll find out. We're used to 8 PSI. 8 PSI. With 42 inch tires. A lot of sidewall, yeah. A lot of sidewall, bead locks, and a lot softer suspension. Oh yeah, we didn't tell you guys. We lost a shock on this thing. Yep. The shock started leaking after our first day here. Yeah, blew out a shock the first day. Yep. It's this, it's this rear shock here. That one. All right, got everything all layered down. We are ready to hit Schaefer switchbacks. We're gonna see how it is. I've heard like a lot of people say it's scary, but I think it's more the people that haven't off-road it and first time doing anything off-road, they might be taking a, a Subaru out back down it. Um, so I think it should be fairly easy with us. We're gonna put it in four low, select first or second gear so we don't burn out the brakes going down the big hills on the switchbacks and kind of just take it slow. So should be a fun day. And we're taking it back to Moab, and then we're going to see what we're going to do in Moab again. All right. So far we haven't really gotten very far, maybe like a half mile into the trail, maybe a mile. But there is already just views and views and views. Look at that. And then that's the road that we'll be driving on. So we see the island in the sky. Lookout, I believe, is somewhere over there. Um, we saw some people over there looking at us. So I'm pretty sure that's the that's the big lookout. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sorry to win noise. But we're gonna keep moving. And that thing. So this is another one of those trails like I would never do in Blue Jeep. But this is exactly what this is for. So that's why we have two. Alright, let's go. So 
So we just put it in four low and we are starting our descent down the switchbacks. It's gonna be cool. I'm excited. As she's scared because she's she's never driven sh shelf roads like this, right? Because every time we're in Utah, I mean Mo uh, Colorado, it's I always me. Drove Fair Pass or one of them. Uh, she drove a Fair Pass, so she'll be fine. I, know. I don't Did know which one. Imaging? No, I drove Imaging. I don't because know. I drove one of them. You would have freaked out. I I at least drove Teddy rides out of Imaging. So these are the switchbacks. Right there, we already came down to first two. Met some bicycle guys, and they were absolutely killing it. But there goes Ashley. Second gear, just crawling it down. No need for anything else. So we were just moving through, done, I don't know, four or five switchbacks. A um, couple things I do want to talk about real quick is the guys that are coming up the hill have the right away. It's always like that. So anybody going up has the right away, even the bikers. So if the bike sickle guys are coming up, pull over for them, let them go by. Same with the Jeepers or anybody else, pull over for them, let them go by in a nice wide spot where they can make it through safely and not have any problems especially the bicycle guys because for them to restart after they stop it is tough especially on an incline like this but we're gonna keep moving forward and So Ashley just made it down all the switchbacks. The rest of it's, they say is, the road is rougher, but it's not as big of a mine screw because switchbacks can be mine screws, especially if you're somebody shelf, that doesn't like shelf roads or heights. So if you don't like those, I probably wouldn't do that trail. But that was fun, it was really cool. Scenery is beautiful. Now we're just gonna take it the rest of the way to Potash Road and then to Moab, so it should be fun. How was your experience? It was good, it wasn't scary. Yeah. Well, they kept it slow, yep. so it's good. Second gear all the way down. Yep. All right, let's go. We saw, found some fellow Jeepers, and we actually saw them up at the Welcome Center, and the people in the white Jeep just got married, we do believe, because she's in a wedding dress and he's in a suit. <laughs> yep. So congratulations to that couple. Yep, congrats. All right, so right here, up, 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 stop. Okay, right there it says Boab via Potash Road and then something else because it can't focus because that's you want to wild. Campsite, Davies, so we're gonna go Potash Road back to Moab. So we're gonna go left. If we keep going straight, that's White Rim. So then it's you're just on right White Rim the rest of the time. So just look at exactly where we are. Like, I don't know. I wasn't that thrilled about running this trail. I always wanted to run it, but it was just like check it off the list. 
but I am ecstatic that we actually are on it right now and running it because it is just beautiful as with everything in Moab, I guess, but it's amazing. Got another sign, Moab via Potash Road, 32 miles. So that's the way we're going. Back to Moab, Hope proud. we'll probably be able to travel it pretty quick. I'm sure 15, 20 miles an hour. Just be careful of the gotchas. All right, so we are officially out of Canyonlands. So if we wanted to, we could put up our drone. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna do it. Maybe I might, cause I'm having fun and we're the only ones in our group today. So I don't feel like I have to rush through things. So I might get the drone and get it up in the air for a little bit here and there. And it should be fun. All right. Guess what, Josh? It's a fluffy cow. <laughs> Ashley loves her fluffy cows, aka buffaloes or bisons. You're not allowed to pet them. You can't pet them. She's got her shirt. All right, but it's time to keep moving on. Like I said, we're going to take our time on this trail and just enjoy it. But right there, where is it? There it is. That's the Colorado River. So it's a cool little overlook on it. There's a big drop, like really, really big drops. And then it's the river. So super cool. But yeah, look at the views. It's just amazing out here. All right, if I keep doing this, I will never get off the trail. So, probably should start moving a little quicker. All right, let's go. All right, I think we are at Horseshoe Bend. Um, I think that's what it's called. Dead Horse State Park. And up there might be like the actual state park with the overview. But I'm pretty sure this is Colorado River, Horseshoe Bend. Super sweet. Super, super cool. It's so fun here. Almost done with the trail because we are at the pot ashes where they let the water evaporate, collect the potassium, I think it is. If anybody knows, or if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. I think it's potassium. I think the water ends up just evaporating off and then they're left with just a whole bunch of potassium at the end that they scoop up and send wherever it needs to be. But it's pretty cool. It's a bunch of cool different colors. Um, especially if you look from like a satellite view, you see like bright blues and a bunch of other different colors, but that's how we know we are almost off the trail. So we're doing good. It really hasn't taken that long, maybe a few hours, but get back on the road. So, we made it. Barely, but we made it. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. So, Schaefer Trail was tons of fun. Way, way more fun than I was expecting. I don't know if it's fun or just like being amazed at the beauty at every single bend and turn and all the different sights you got to see. It is it is definitely worth it. Especially if you just go out there in a stock Jeep. Go run it. You won't regret it, trust me. It only took us, what? Maybe three, four hours. Four hours. Yeah, so I was thinking it was going to take a long time. Then once we got off the trail, we actually ended up going into Arches. And we hiked... Um, Delicate Arch. Delicate Arch. And I almost died. Yeah. Well, she didn't <laughs> almost die. She wasn't even close to dying, technically. <laughs> Felt like I was dying. But we hiked that trail and it kicked our butt. But we made it to the top. All right, guys. Hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and all that other fun YouTube stuff. All right, guys. Adios. Bye, guys.